The hot, humid weather in Ongata Rungai could not in any way stop these officers drawn from the Kenyan Tourism Fund from cracking the whip on hotel operators who have failed to pay 8.6 million shillings as part of the tourism levy. Accompanied by police from Rongai Police Station, the officers made their first stop at Galaxy Restaurant. Here, the owner was not around, leaving the manager in charge with an uphill task of producing all the records to show proof of compliance. Our officers are vis visiting this particular unit, uh, requesting them to, to ensure that they are registered with us. And according to the law, we are once you start an operation, once you, once you start a business, within 30 days you're supposed to have visited us or we visit you and you register with us so that you are able to pay the 2% uh, levy. The enforcement by the fund is expected to get players in the sector compliant. The tourism fund charges a 2% levy on bars, restaurant and hotel earnings with the money pooled used to fund activities in the tourism sector. Six more hotels and restaurants were raided and similar proceedings followed. Many of these operators complied by issuing the tourism fund officers with their business records, having declined to do so initially. Consequently, the records were confiscated and will be used in determining the penalties to be meted out. We have been empowered now by the law to auction them, for example. Yeah, apart from enforcing, like now, since we've taken their documents, we are, we are going to calculate and go back to the time when they started the, 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 the activities, trading. trading. Thereafter, we will take them like 3% penalty per every month, and it is cumulative. Officers from the Tourism Fund currently estimate the level of non-compliance at about 30% and have vowed to continue with this operation until all operators comply with the laid down regulations. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.